Hi, this is Thunder. In this video, I'm going to discuss why I choose Inkscape rather than bitmap editors like Photoshop. And let's go to inkscape.org where it says that Inkscape is a professional vector graphics editor for Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. It's free and open source. And what is good about Inkscape is that it uses a format called SVG which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics and it's an XML based vector image format for two-dimensional graphics with support for interactivity and animation. And uh, let's look at the Inkscape logo in Paint. Here's the Inkscape logo and this is Microsoft Paint. If I zoom in to this logo you can quickly see that it gets very very pixelated. So if we open this, uh, open the logo uh, in an SVG format in Inkscape actually, and we can zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and zoom in, and you don't see any pixels. And let's zoom it a little bit again. And uh, so you understand the vector part of the Inkscape or the scalable vector graphics. Let's select this object here. This is, uh, and if we click on this Edit Paths and Notes tool, you can see that there are there are two-dimensional points in space that define exactly the shape and uh, sometimes there are straight lines between the points but often there are curved lines and these are Bezier curves and the effect is that the this uh, snow form here is formed by a few by about 10 points in two-dimensional space. So that's that's the magic behind uh, the SVG format. Now if we go to a site like um, like photoshop.com you can see that uh, this is a this this has been designed and probably in a nice program and uh, if we make it narrow you can see that yeah, parts of the menu is disappearing, so it's not responsive. And if we open this, if we copy this and open in in Paint again, and we zoom in, we can also see the same effect that we saw that uh, the graphics and the logo turns into pixels pretty soon. Now, if we look at Newsweek, on the other hand, that's a site that is actually using Bootstrap that we are also working with, and if we make that more narrow, we can see that uh, it adapts to the width of the screen very nicely. And uh, the biggest problem with Photoshop is how are you going to design this look in all these various sizes so it uh, so the development uh, can be easier and more organized and uh, that's where uh, where i believe that inkscape is the perfect tool because it because with it you can you can define things accurately when needed and uh, be flexible where needed also. So thank you and uh, in the next video we're going to dive a little bit deeper into why I choose Bootstrap 3.